Welcome back to Art Talk with Angie and Max. Today, we will be comparing two pieces that can be found in the James Museum of Western Wildlife Art. I'm Angie. And I'm Max. Let's analyze. The piece I chose was Cheyenne Burning of Fort Phil Kearney, 1868, painted in 2015 by Z.S. Liang. The piece is a depiction of the Cheyenne tribe taking their land back. At first glance, it may seem as if there is a battle occurring, with the bright fire and sharp tools wielded by the Cheyenne. The painting is a representation of when the Cheyenne nonviolently claimed their land back from the Americans. They burned the inactive fort as a ceremonial act to celebrate the great victory. They told all Americans in the area to evacuate and perform the burning as respectfully as possible. This piece is truly eye-catching. What a wonderful piece, Max. My choice of art was the oil painting, The Final Touch by David York, from the year of 2009. The focus of the art is a Native American man getting his hair braided by a Native American woman sitting above him. They're both covered in what seems to be traditional clothing and jewelry. David York wanted to capture an emotionally vulnerable moment that's not always seen and wanted to give an inside perspective on the daily preparation of Native American men and women. Wow, Angie. I've never thought about that aspect of Native American life. The primary visual element of Cheyenne burning of Fort Phil Kearney 1868 is color. The bright colors of the fire in the background stand out in the painting. Its vivid nature emphasizes the Cheyenne tribe's victory in taking back the land that was theirs after many years. This can be related to your painting too, Angie. Both artists incorporate bright colors to capture the viewer's attention, whether it's through eye-popping jewelry and clothing in York's painting or the blazing fire in the background of Liang's. Most definitely, Max. The battle clothing in Liang's piece truly caught my eye. It's very similar to the clothing in York's painting as well. They both incorporate bright colors such as green, red, and blue. The clothing in York's painting has accents of turquoise that create originality of the clothes Native Americans wore. As well, the colors are used in extremely detailed fashion. Both artists did a fantastic job in their use of color. It seems like these artists were on the same page. Another artistic element utilized in both paintings is emphasis. Z.S. Liang puts the focus of the painting on the tribe leader in the foreground. This directs the true purpose of the painting towards the Cheyenne tribe rather than the fire. This moment was one of the most important in the tribe's history. Angie, how did David York use emphasis in his painting? York uses emphasis in a similar fashion to Liang. He puts the main focus on the two people in the painting. Yet again, the focal point of the painting is on the Native Americans and their daily activities. The men and women in the piece stand out in front of the interior of their home. Max, what artistic element do you think is the most important in Liang's piece? I think it would be the colors. Their appeal to the eye is undeniable, and the artwork caught my attention from across the James Museum back when I visited in August. What do you think is the most important element in your painting that you chose? Color seems to be the most important. Without color in the painting, it would be hard to truly analyze and understand the culture. The piece Cheyenne Burning of the Fort Phil Kearney 1868 and the Final Touch embody both elements of color and emphasis very well. Through analyzation and examination, both paintings showcase culture, history, and tell a story. That's all for today's Art Talk. I'm Angie. And I'm Max. Thanks for listening.